Hello YouTube. I found a baby bird yesterday. Came into our yard and uh, we were waiting for the parents and the parents never came so uh, we now have to take care of it. Before anybody else decides to do the same, uh, let me offer you a word of warning. Uh, first off, if you're in the states and probably most countries, you need a federal and state licenses to have wild animals. Secondly, a baby bird you have to feed once every 14 to 20 minutes uh, throughout the day. It's insane. On top of that, most baby birds are probably not going to survive, especially in human's care. Uh, I'm feeding it proteins and mushed up bananas because most birds around here eat fruits, so I'm, I'm just hoping and guessing that it's going to eat fruits as well. But I am giving it a lot of protein as well, so it tries, so it'll grow a lot faster. Uh, don't get me wrong, uh, I, I don't have any high hopes or anything. It probably will still die even if it survives all the way to the fledge stage. Uh, I don't even think its eyes are open actually. Uh, so it's not going to be easy and it's probably going to take a long time. Every day, sun up to sundown, every 20 minutes, for weeks on end. So, and on top of that, I have to teach it how to look for food, where to look for food. Luckily there's a lot of birds. Hopefully, I was hoping I could get one of them to adopt it, but they're not too into that. I, when I first got the bird, uh, we put it into a cloth type nest. Not a good idea. Its claws got stuck on the, the cloth and I had to literally pry its claws from it because it couldn't get out. Uh, yeah, use uh, paper towels or something. At first I didn't want to use paper towels because all we have are white paper towels, but it's, we really have no other choice. Don't use grass because grass contains moisture and it'll probably end up killing the little bird. I'll put a link inside to one of the websites I found that was pretty nice. Well, that's a bit about it. Let me go ahead and show you the bird. Here's a little bird now, wandering about. It's probably hungry and actually it looks like it wants to shit. And it's a lot of cleaning, a lot of care to take care of a little bird. It's not, not easy at all, not easy at all. But don't get too attached um, and don't forget that it's still a wild creature and it doesn't belong in a house. I try to keep it outdoors as much as possible in the shade because direct sunlight will probably affect it. Uh, and I, I still hope that the parents will come by, so I leave it outside as much as possible. Um, and when it gets older, I'm going to leave it outside all the time so it can naturally figure out what predators it has to avoid. Uh, it sounds kind of cruel, but uh, it is wild, so hold on a sec. Teaching it to fly will be a pain in the butt, too. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, on top of that, trying to figure out where to find food is going to be a pain in the butt. I'm probably going to end up having to feed it way, well into adulthood. It's now day four looking after this bird. It's still alive. And I've been looking for its mother. Leaving it, I, I leave it out there. I've been leaving it out there every day since I found it for a few hours. And still no mother. And I, I fairly doubt I'll ever find a mother. Uh, whether or not this bird actually survives is a different story because really, really, I've been watching a mother bird and her chicks today and there's no way I'm going to be able to to actually teach this bird everything it needs to know so on top of that, I think I see why the mother uh, probably got rid of the bird because one of the eyes is closed and it hasn't opened. So I don't know. Hopefully it'll open and the bird will be live a partially normal life. Or you know, either way, I was gonna starve to death anyway. So I don't know. Maybe I'll give it a chance. I guess. Oh wait, I'm tired as hell. You gotta feed it all the time, every time, and constantly changing the, the stuff underneath. I'm gonna have to treat it for mites probably soon. I've been thinking about naming it uh, Clumsy or Mush, because I feed it mush all the time, or TLC, the second meaning, because that's probably what it's gonna end up like. Oy. Whatever you do when you see a bird on the ground, leave it. For me, it's too late. Now I have to take care of it. You know, if I left it there and let it die, then. I wouldn't feel so bad. Now I've got to take care of it. Even if it still dies, at least I won't feel as bad about just leaving it there, starving to death. But I should have left it there. I've been trying to get other birds to adopt it also, 
uh, our hopes that maybe the the parents would come back and no joy when they see the bird they they fly like holy shit that's not my son get that shit away from me